I think we are live. We're live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was supposed to be a video, but if not, it's all good, right? Um, it was actually a video of who you guys see on the screen with me. And for those of you who haven't had the chance to meet him yet, he's been with doTERRA for quite some time as a performance advocate. This is uh, Jamie Mitchell. And um, you Google his name and you'll find out really quick why this is such a special deal for us today and in general, just to have him part of the doTERRA family. Uh, Jamie, how are we doing, my man? Good morning, Simone. I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, just got done with a uh, 40 mile bike ride and uh, that shameless plug, but I've just been lathering myself in the new deep blue so I can, uh, so I can actually walk uh, when I get off the <laughs> off this call. So, <laughs> okay. So, so just 40 miles, nothing too tough today. Well, you, you know, what's crazy is when I was, <laughs> it's so funny. I, when I was in the, uh, Utah for the convention, I did the five kilometer, um, the, the run. It inspired me to actually, I got home and I was like, oh, I've got, oh, there's about six weeks before the start of winter here in Hawaii. And I'm like, what can I do in six weeks to get in super shape? Never done a triathlon in my life. I, so I've decided to do a half Ironman in Oceanside, California at the end of the month. So I've got six weeks to train for a 1.2 mile swim, 50 mile ride and 13 mile run. So uh, yeah, the 40 mile ride this morning was part of preparing for the half Ironman in three weeks time. Makes sense. You know, Jamie, uh, I wanna say most people train for triathlons, or especially the triathletes who, triathlon athletes who really go after that, possibly half their lifetime. <laughs> yeah. But you just come to convention and you feel the inspiration, I guess. Well, I guess it was before convention and you're going to do it, right? Yeah. Well, you know, you know what, what's happened is, you know, the, and that's the beauty with doTERRA is that I'm a, I'm a, I think what I am is a lifelong athlete. You know, I started training when I was five years old and, wow. um, and I'm now 44 years old. And I can honestly say um, the past six months of my life, I feel like I'm in the uh, best physical and mental shape of my life. And, and that, that not necessarily means, uh, you know, go out and, you know, race hard and compete and win 10 world titles like I did, but, but just, um, you know, in, you know, the way that my body's feeling and, you know, with all the products that I use and I just recently worked out a bunch of stuff with my, um, my stomach and gut issues was allergic to some foods that I didn't know about that I ate a lot of. And so I, I cleanse my stomach out and I, I, and I, I feel rejuvenized, I rejuvenated. I feel like I, I feel better than I did in my twenties when I was competitively <laughs> racing and winning races. And, um, you know, obviously age, you can't get rid of age. You know, I have the aches and the creaks and, and this and that, but as in like looking at my body physically and, and mentally and all that, I, I'm at 44, I can honestly say I'm in, I'm in the best, wow. I'm in the best shape of my life, which is incredible. That That's amazing. That's amazing, Jamie. And I want to get into uh, your regimen, your protocol, especially when it comes to the products I seen you held up, the new deep blue stick. But before that, let me bring it back for our viewers who are just jumping on. Thank you so much for joining us. We're here live and direct with Jamie Mitchell, big wave surfer, world renowned for his skills and his talents for quite some time. Uh, and you know what? I seen him wearing a hat. I'm going to wear a hat too. In a <laughs> fitting. This is the new healing hat. We got to send you one. If you don't have you one, send me one. Right. Um, I'll turn it around backwards too. Now we're, now we're in the same vibe. Um, when I first started with doTERRA, Jamie, one of the, the biggest things outside of co-impact sourcing and healing hands that really impressed me was this performance advocate program. And I was like, okay, so what is that? And they said, well, we partner with uh, some pretty cool athletes um, and athletes who really utilize our products. Like they naturally gravitate towards what we're doing here at doTERRA and they don't just use the products because it makes sense for them, right? They actually use the products. And so I was like, all right, let me skim the list. The very first name I recognize, Jamie Mitchell. Being from Hawaii myself, I've always known your name. And so when I seen that and seen the partnership and the love you have for the products, I was like, all right, we good. We, yeah. we in place. Um, but thank you guys for joining us. Jamie, you were talking kind of how you feel 
the best you've ever felt now at 44? Yeah. I mean, from when I first met you four years ago, I don't, you haven't changed. You actually yeah. got younger. So talk to us, my man. What, what type of products are you using? What's your regimen? How can we be like Jamie Mitchell? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, look, honestly, it's, uh, and, and it's not a, I mean, I, we use all the products, you know, like my, 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 our family from the, from what we use, the washing, the hand soap, dishwashing, cleaning up. But, but, you know, like, for example, this morning when I wake up, I take the, the um, you know, the Vitality Vitamin Pack. Um, I, 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 I use the uh, Capiva tablets, you know, for yeah. my for inflammation. I've got the turmeric tablets I take. Uh, I, I use the di Digest Send tablets, the, the soft gels. I use the uh, Digest Send chews. I've got, I mean, I mean, we've got it all, man. I could take you around my house right now and show you everything. There's, there, it's, it looks like a pharmacy on my table in the mornings, you know. But, but, it, but it really, they, 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 I, I just don't take them because they're there. They're all, they do all have a specific reason, and I may use more than than most. But my life is sort of a little bit more radical than most as well, you know. But, but you know, I got involved with my wife. You know, my wife um, was a wellness advocate and. I came home one day and she was pre she was pregnant with our first child, Nevaeh, and there's this big black case sitting on our bed. And I'm like, oh, what's that? And she's like, oh, it's some oils. I'm like, and I've told this story before, but some of you might have heard it. And and I said, oh, yeah, like, um, oh, that's cool. Like, and I open it up and it's like this, there's like 100 oils in this bag. And I'm like, well, what, how much did that cost? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And she goes, how many surfboards do you have, honey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. No, I'm backing off right here. This is a battle I'm not going to win. But yeah. from that moment on, I watched her. Uh, um, she, she wanted to, you know, create the business and, and become part of the terror. So she, she did for, for, for many years. And, and I, I listened to her. Not only was I impressed by the products, but just the business side of it from what she was trying to do, learning with all these different people and stuff. And I was just impressed. I was impressed with doTERRA probably first and foremost as a company as in like like when i was listening into what she was learning and how she was like doing the business i was like wow this is impressive i'm learning stuff just by listening and then number two when i started to use the products you know i've never been one to uh you know someone go hey jamie like i've got this product can you give us a plug you know and, and whatever i'm like well I'll use the product and I'll give you my honest opinion. You mightn't like it or you might like it, but I've never, you know, like, you know, I would not be using doTERRA just because I get free products or whatever if I didn't like it. You know, it's just, that's not who I am. It's never who I have been. So I, I truly love the products. I mean, I, I use them in the sauna. I have a sauna and ice bath set up in my house for recovery. So I use the oils every night um, in the sauna when I'm in there. You know, it's great for... If I'm feeling a little sick, I, you know, I put the, you know, On Guard and Peppermint in there and the Metaluca, the tea tree, you know. So it's just, there's just so many ways to use the oils. I I use this thing, I call it the, the, the Jamie Immunity shot. You know, I put two shots of, uh, we did it, we do it at the convention every year, but two shots of oregano, two shots of frac frankincense, lemon, peppermint, digest zen um what else is there uh on guard there's seven oils tea tree two, two yes melaleuca tea tree melaleuca two drops of that and a you know bit, bit of water put down the hatch and away you go you know you never get sick <laughs> never get sick again <laughs> I so, love um but you know it's just um you know we've got the kids oils as well you know with the you know, the breathe when they're getting a little stuffy and it's just so much good stuff, man. I, I, I really, it's, I really can't thank doTERRA enough because, you know, I feel so blessed and um, to have a happy, healthy household, you know, with not just myself to keep me going, my, you know, more importantly, my two young daughters who are four and six and, yeah. um, and my wife, you know, so it's, um it's been an absolute blessing to be a part of this company and and to really not just use the products but embrace them and love them and and, and you can tell how i'm talking about them i tell you know like when i go on trips to mexico i'm doing the the shots with oregano and you know, everyone else is getting um montezuma's revenge and, and then i don't you know and, 
and the people that know me now ask me for the shots and they don't get it, you know. So there's all these weird different things, you know, that I use when I'm on trips and stuff that people are now, you know, you know, coming up to me asking for my advice, you know. Love that. I love that. Well, I mean, and this is the part that excites me the most. You hear Jamie Mitchell, big wave surfer, world renowned for his skills on the waves, passionately talk about the products. Like this is really real, right? This is not something that you could just script up. So I think from an outsider, if I put myself in an outsider perspective, that's awesome. Right, because you, you see this high performance athlete and he's doing his thing, right? With these oils that ah, that's a that's a stay at home mom's type of thing. No, high performance athletes use this too. And you, right, in some of the tournaments, I imagine things got to be tested, right, with what you're putting on your body. So you got to be super clear on what you're using. And so that speaks volumes, my man. Um, Jimmy, quick question I have for you. As people are tuning in, listening to you, not just in athletic space, also as a family, a person, dad, husband, I kind of want to get into the athletic space. What would you recommend as people see athletes as potential customers or people to share with? And they might be like, oh, hold on. This is not really their area. Any words of advice that you could share with us? Uh, you know, I just think, I, you know, like like I said, like my wife got involved to, to to do the business, and then it was something she was passionate about, and then she she got too busy with kids, right? And she so she started to step away from the business, and then you know, but we then then, then I stepped into the performance advocate role, and you know, and you see uh, so many like what's really cool for me is when we go to convention is seeing how many men um, are there, you know, with their, with supporting their wife and actually some, some men there that, that are actually doing it on their own with their wife supporting them. And, um, you know, I just think that it's, you know, we live, in, we live in a world today where, you know, health is wealth and, you know, that, that you can't put a price, you know, on your health as we've seen over the, this past few years. Um, you know, I just, I just think that when you can, listen to someone like myself or, you know, see these other performance advocates in different sports that are um, truly, you know, using these oils, then, you know, it's, it, it, it gives you, gives you hope and belief that um, there's these beautiful natural products out there that can, that can help you. And then, you know, doTERRA also with all their, um, the, the healing hands and all the other amazing, you know, you know, things they've got going on. You know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just an awesome thing. So, you know, I, 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 don't be scared. The men don't be scared to get involved. You know, I mean, that, that, that is my thing. It's, uh, this is for everyone. This is not just for the women and the, and the moms, you know, this is, and the wives and the girlfriends, the men can get involved, you know, and, you know, we do so much sports and, you know, for me, I love it when I'm able to convert someone that maybe wasn't a believer and I can say, hey, what's going on with you? And, and, and I'll go, hey, he, take a stick of deep blue. Go try that for a month and come back. Jamie, how can I get the deep blue? How can I get the deep blue? I'm like, well, this is how you can get it, my man. You know what I mean? Like, so, I, uh, you know, don't be scared. You know, get, in, get involved, try it out. I love that. I love that. And now we got the deep blue stick. And so even easier to use, right? Especially if you're sampling for people. Sometimes you put that deep blue rub on, you forget you have it on your hands. You rub up here, Jamie, you're, uh, you're gonna feel that wintergreen real, real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm smelling, I'm smelling that right now. I just, like I say, I just, it, it's so good. I just able to quickly just rub it on all my legs and my knees. And now it's got the kapiba in it too, which I'm, I'm a big fan of the kapiba, I think. Uh, for inflammation, for swelling, um, to add that to the deep blue is just a master, master stroke, you know. So it was definitely one of my favorite new additions from convention. Awesome. Awesome. Again, for our viewers tuning in, we have Jamie Mitchell, a big wave surfer, pro surfer, world renowned for all of his skills, live with us talking about um, just life in general, getting to know him a little bit more, and also his love and passion for the product. Um, now, one of the cool benefits of being a performance advocate is um, 
you obviously get to come to convention, but I see you got a shirt that I've never seen before. And I, I'm gonna need one of those. We got the hat, I got this hat. And so maybe we can work on a trade, Jamie, because <laughs> the drip is in my man. Um, now, Jamie, anything else come to mind in terms of, you know, 2021 has been kind of an interesting year for people, right? Especially in our industry, um, any bits of advice whether that's through your own experience with doTERRA or just, uh, you know, maybe some challenges that you've faced as a pro surfer, uh, whether it was a tournament, I seen we had some footage up of you tackling a big wave in Portugal. That looked bigger than the building here. So I'm sure you have, you know, maybe some uh, right here. Roll this footage, John. Check big this wave out, tour. Having a look here. J Jackie yeah, Mitchell's see? gonna penetrate, he's gonna swing it left this time. Look at this thing, the beach erupts. Mitchell holds the rail. Okay. He's surviving this thing. I'm going to put on adaptive just and watching. And it'll eventually eat it. <laughs> by wave well, number two I, I for mean, Jamie look, I Mitchell. think that um, he got a 7.5 a, a multiplier there by two. We'll see what one that big steep thing drop that comes I've seen and, you know, well, is um, probably, you know, a lot of, and what people don't talk about is the, the mental struggles, right, of the past few, the, you know, the years. People not being able to travel and, and you know, with work and you know, and myself, you know, I've lost, um, I've lost sponsorships. You know, like a lot of the way that I earned money was through sponsorships. You know, and 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 some a lot of that dried up as well. Um, you know, for me during this time, and you know, just just general life stuff. You know, having to get a forbearance out on your home loan because you can't pay it at the moment, and what's that look like when you have to start paying it again? But the one thing that I always went back to for, for me was what I found for me that keeps me in my happy place is for me is my health and my training. I, there's nothing that makes me feel better than getting up and exercising, um, feeling healthy. And, and for me, I always tell people that, you know, there's levels to, to that, right? You can go and train and that's fine. Then you can go and have a, a crappy diet and then go and drink a bunch of beer and and whatever or you can you know not do that and, and not train so but when you can put everything together you know like you know healthy diet recovery you know taking uh, supplements you know doing your doing your exercise and when you can when you can combine all that together and uh for me i find that i'm a better father i'm a better husband i'm a better person um, my mood's better. I, I, I just, I've got the ability to be um, not as impatient with the kids, you know, all that stuff that we deal with, you know, it's real life. I mean, let's be real, you know, and, um, but so I always go back to the, the basics for me. The basics for me is getting up like this morning, right? So perfect example is like, I was meant to do this 40 miles this morning, but we're going to do this Facebook live. So if I didn't get up early enough to do this Facebook live, I would have got caught with the kids and I would have missed the training session and it would have put me into a bit of a funk for the day. But instead I went to bed early, got up at five o'clock, was out the door by five 30 back home at eight 30, 40 miles done. Now I'm talking to you guys. I feel great. You know what I mean? Like I, I feel great. I'm going to finish this. The girls are at school. I'll take them surfing after and the day will, the day will flow and, It'll be a great day. Whereas if I hadn't have done that, it may have been a sort of a, uh, I would have been for, for myself, the way that I know that my mind works, I would have been thinking I should have got up. I didn't get up and it would have been a funky day. So I think that for anyone listening, just what whatever makes you feel good, whether it's getting up and going to yoga, getting up and stretching, going for a walk on the beach, going for a swim at the lake, Whatever, whatever that is, find what it is and find time for yourself. You got to make sure you, you, you got to find time for yourself, no matter if you've got five kids and a, and a family. You've, because you know, I just know with kids, it's they sense they sense that, you know, if, if you're not happy, then you, you, you force that onto the kids, you know. So I don't know. I just feel like just find what that what makes you happy, what makes you, you know, feel good for the day and, and, and commit to that, you know, balance and commitment. You know, I think those two things really, if you can continue on that path, it's a great thing. Yeah, no, I agree. And there's a bunch of people commenting and I can see our friend Jenny 
um, who agrees as well. She's a, she's a cyclist, she's a triathlete, a runner, and she said she would be lost as well without these natural conditions. I think the biggest thing that I heard from you, Jamie, was a couple different things. Good habits, getting back to the basics, but creating good habits that make sense for you. And I was, I came across a book, Atomic Habits, which I believe is super popular amongst our world. Um, great book, by the way, is creating habits that make the most sense for you. And once you can see those habits, whether it's taking a walk or getting up and hitting 40 miles easy, right? Um, you start to build momentum and you start to get back into the swing of things. And so 2020, 2021, we kind of lost pace and lost track. We got disconnected um, due to many different things, but coming back to the basics, implementing those simple, easy habits that make sense for you will get you back into the swing of things. Um, Simplicity and um, being able to, yeah, my 40, my 40 miles might be your three miles and that does not matter. It, it's everyone is, has their own limitations and uh, you know what you can do, but you know there's no use going out and training like a champion for four weeks and and training ten times a week and then being oh, I'm, I'm I'm I can't do this I can't and then stop right you're better off going out for twice a week for a year right because what that does is it just creates like you were saying it creates a consistent habit I'm I'm massive for scheduling. Um, with a family, I'm massive for schedule, ske having a schedule and a diary, um, knowing what I'm doing, my wife's doing, what the kids are doing, so that we don't tread on each other's toes and that we don't, and we have time for each other. You know, like when I'm done with doing what I'm doing, bang, my wife can go do that thing. I can be with the kids. If the kids are at home with homeschooling or they're at, you know, play group, whatever it is. Like, you know, we're just, we're just making sure that we make the most out of every minute of the day because, you know, now with my kids, they're at four and six, they've got swim class, they've got soccer team, they've got this and that. And I'm like, you know, if, if, if we don't schedule things out, we'd never get anything done. So I'm a big believer in, um, you know, you know, scheduling and, and we, we, you know, our family, we, we have our, you know, I have my time to do what I like to do and my wife gets her time to do whatever that may be and maybe just sit down and read a book without the kids and that's fine. She might want to go and check, catch a couple of waves and surf, like whatever that may be, but um, finding time to make sure that um, it's scheduled right the right way, I think is, um, is, is very key. For sure, for sure. Um, a couple of different people have mentioned, I, Hannah, you know Hannah. Uh, yes. she, she's getting she's earning up some brownie points because she said hey shout out to your wives because they're lucky to have you um and and care so much about health and well-being so thank you hannah that might have been towards you but i'll take that as well i'll share that with my wife because i could use the extra brownie points but well, you know what else you know what else Simone, i think is um you know what we're doing by bringing our kids around doTERRA and bringing them to convention and seeing them you know like with my kids when they have their supplements in the morning whatever they may be is like they see dad doing it you know and that mom and dad are doing it and you're creating healthy habits for our kids and you're showing them you know when i get up and i come home and i'm exhausted and sweating and my kids go what are you doing daddy and i'm like oh i'm just training what are you training for and you know and you're just you know you're you're directing them and hopefully pointing them in a happy and healthy direction and leading by example, you know, for your kids. And, and that's really all you can do. You know, at the end of the day, they're going to, they're going to make their own choices. But, you know, if you can um, be the best parent that you can be with, with what you have in front of you and, uh, you know, they see that, you know, you have a beautiful, healthy life and you're using these awesome products and, and they, they, they soak it up like sponges. Then, you're creating a great human for the earth and we need more great humans, you know? Love that. I love that. And that that we can consider almost like a mic drop type of conclusion, but I'm not gonna let you off the hook that quick. Again, family, friends, uh, this is a special treat to have Jamie Mitchell, our performance advocate, um, come on and, and allow us to get to know him a little bit more and his passion for the products. And so one question I'm gonna end with and this might be a tough one because I heard you talk about a trillion products. Jamie, if you had to pick one, uh, you know what? We launched a pretty good line at convention. If you had to pick two products to keep with you on hand all day, every day, 
stranded on an island, up on the mountaintop, whatever you want to call, only two, what would those two products be? That is a great question. Um, I would definitely have the deep blue stick. I just think that, that that's just a no-brainer. That uh, can help for a, a lot of different things. Um, and then if I was on an island... That's, uh, I would probably take maybe the, tu maybe turmeric, maybe the turmeric tablets for the inflammation and, uh, yeah, just cause I know I'd probably be running around the island like a crazy maniac. So I, I need to get rid of the swelling. <laughs> okay. Jamie, can you hear? I think we're back. Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right. I, I believe I heard you say deep blue stick and turmeric. The turmeric tablets, yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that at all. In fact, I would hang my hat on that as well. Um, thank you, Jamie, so much. It was so cool to get to a little bit more. I see the comments coming in. Really appreciate your bits, pieces of advice and counsel. And it applies to everything. It's not just the business. This is life. This is you as a parent. This is you as a good human being, as a person. So we really appreciate you jumping in and we really, really appreciate you being a part of the doTERRA family. And we couldn't think of a person more um, suitable to, to represent doTERRA the way. So big shout out to your family for making time for us to have you. Uh, shout out to you and we'll see you soon, Jamie. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks for everyone that stopped by to, uh, to listen and uh... Keep on going, guys. You're doing a great job. Um, being a part of this massive extended doTERRA family is uh, you, you're on the right path, and uh, I look forward to seeing every again, everyone again, hopefully sooner than convention, but if not convention, again next year. <laughs>